What's going on, guys? We're here at the Chrome Stop. Got my son Junior with me. Hi. Freddie gave him a Chrome Stop hat, the USA flag. But we're gonna be buying some stuff for Unit 75, and we actually got a few things that I need already. We got these uh, covers, nut covers. Show him the shirt. Junior is gonna take the shirt with him. Turn it around. Big Rick Tees, double vision, nice Peter Bill. But yeah, put it in. I'm gonna get some fenders that I need for the truck, like you guys saw in the last video. My fiberglass fenders, they're uh, off the truck, and I wanna go with stainless. So we're gonna see what Freddy has. But I've done plenty of videos here. You guys know where it's at, McCarty, Houston, Texas. Lots of accessories, interior, exterior. Look at these right here. LEDs. Double function. Pretty cool stuff right there. Roadworks. It looks real nice right there. Classic. Mini watermelons. But yeah, here. Bring this to me. So we'll see what else we can find for the trucks. Great selection of seats. You got bathrooms. I really like this one here for unit 75. It's a little on the high side for the price but we'll probably get them later on finish a few other things and then i want to get two of those for that truck here there's a lot of mud flap weights i always go with the trucks because this one comes with four so each mud flap gets one in the front one in the back but i think i'm gonna switch it up since it's going on the low boy and the end dump i might just go with um, this one right here which is just the bottom plate drill the holes as you can see, there's nothing in the front. If you were to get something like this, you got the bolt there with the nut. But I kind of like how this one looks without nothing on the plate. So let's just take two of these then. Or actually four because... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take four. Two for the low boy, and then two for the end boy. Is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'll grab it right now. Four. Here. Come on, Corey. All right, guys. So, Freddie's going to tell us a little bit about these lights he has here. What you got, big dog? All right, so we saw a bunch of different style watermelon lights. Some of our most popular lights are the glass lights with the LED bulbs in them. We got them in 1156 and 1157. But we also sell a bunch of sealed LEDs from the Glow Style, the Reflectors. These are from United Pacific, and these are from Trucks. And we also have the ones from Grand General that came out. And we also have the new Starburst Trucks lights. And every day we're getting in different items. As you can see, we got a bunch of different products that came in from we got an order from 12 gauge that we have visors, Peterbilt and Kenworth mirror brackets, some that are paintable, some that are already stainless steel polished. And as you can see, we have a ton of different style LED lights when it comes to foreign. Brand General, United Pacific, truck accessories. All right, but we need some fenders, man. What you got? All right, let me have one of the guys put on some 80 inch finish so you see some hodgeball fenders. So you already know, right? Yeah. Do you already know the upgrade on, on, on the yeah. fenders? We're gonna be going with a half inch, 80 inch low rider fender from Hodgeville. Full stainless steel. And we're gonna have these up, you, these are gonna be installed by this week, right, Junior? We're gonna install them this week, right? Yeah. Is it gonna be ready to go? So what's up, Junior? Are we taking that truck to the truck show or what? This, this end of the month? We're going to the truck show? This year, right? 
We're going to the truck show or what? We're going to take it. So you guys be ready for the Texas truck so show. So what's the size on these though? What's these are 80 inch fenders. And trucks? So these are Hodgeville fenders. Oh, Hodgeville, okay. Yes, Hodgeville fenders, American made. We'll be having our guy Alex at a Customs get them installed. Do you got anything with him right now getting work or not? No, not right now. Soon, real soon. But Freddie has this cool project he's working on, and it's not the exterior of the truck, but it's under the hood. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have an engine put on a, a truck that we got about three weeks ago that we're gonna get it installed, and then we're gonna take it to the fab shop and turn it down. Do something nice. We'll yes, get the, we're gonna get the motor ready, but we have another truck that we're gonna be having at the show. Texas truck, Texas truck and show. Save the day, guys. June 29th and 30th, NRG Center. Fenders to Alex already. I'm gonna take my truck on Saturday. He's gonna install them on Sunday. But right now I'm gonna add the chrome weights to the mud flaps of the trailers. Get that done with. I just went and got some of my tools. Measuring tape. Drill bit. Junior fell asleep. That's why I have it on. I'll show you guys real quick. Boy's knocked out. But yeah. Finish installing the chrome weights on the end up and the low boy. They look pretty good. I like the way these go mounted, simple through the hole, washer and a nut. I got the lug nut covers that I need to put on the truck. Now, I got some good news. I already found a guy that's gonna sandblast and paint my trailer. I haven't called him because I don't want to put it in the shop and have all of this work come up. So I'll probably take a vacation before the summer ends. And in the meantime, I'm gone, have it at the paint shop getting sandblasted and painted. And I'm gonna keep it original. I'm gonna do a white again. That's just the way I want to keep it. And I'm pretty sure 
fresh coat of white is gonna look good on it but that's what i'm gonna do to it here are the nug nut covers that i'm missing which is a lot one two three four five six seven eight nine I bought 10. Good thing. I thought I was only missing like 7. But I'm going to add a little bit of uh, clear silicone to them. So they don't fall. I forgot to put some on these. That's why they, they fell off. Just on one corner like that. Just got here to Alex's shop, so let's get off and go check out unit 75. So what I did to it, added the fenders and also removed the two and a half inch block that was in the front axle. So the truck sits a little bit lower, especially those fenders, look very nice. Come on guys. The fenders look good too. Alex over there. Get those brackets. Heavy duty. So new U-bolts and then the blocks that go on the that go on the front axle right here. Passenger side, driver side. I told him I was going to save these just if I ever want to go back. But this truck, my dad, uh, he did put an extra leaf spring, the bottom leaf spring. These trucks don't have it. So that raises it up two inches itself. So right now it's pretty much sitting like a stock T-800 wood. I just got here to a car wash. I'm going to hit the frame of the truck. Because from here it's going with my mechanic, Luis. I'm gonna have him uh, check the, the fluids on the differentials. I got a couple of air leaks I need him to fix. A few things here and there that I wanna get changed. Gotta get the coins. Oh damn, I just got robbed. Look at this. Freaking dime. What the heck? I mean, a nickel. section below what do you guys think about the fenders how do you like that and also if it looks better drop texas trucking show coming up unit 75 is going to be there so i got to prep it up for it 